If you're instrument rated, by now you've probably found several instances where you have procedures named something something Z, something something Y. And oftentimes that's the case because one of them is RNAV GPS, which does not require authorization to fly, and the other is RNAV RNP, RNP authorization required. But every once in a while, especially in mountainous areas, you're gonna find a case where you have multiple RNAV GPS approaches to the same runway. And usually this comes down to a non-standard missed approach climb gradient. So when you've got obstacles, oftentimes in that missed approach area that prevent you from using a normal 200 foot per nautical mile missed approach climb gradient, then the procedure designer may still stick with a lower minimum, but require a higher than standard climb gradient. And when that happens, they're oftentimes going to give you an option to use that standard 200 foot per nautical mile climb gradient. That option may require a higher MDA or DA or increased visibility, but it still uses the same procedure. If they can't do that, then they're going to create another procedure to that runway. That procedure usually is gonna have higher minimums, but it will generally use a standard missed approach climb gradient.